If you are a news and media publisher, here's a good example of a breaking news push notification. For a notification, you need to have a clear and crisp title. Something that instantly communicates the urgent message with the reader. Use a catchy image that accurately represents the current news and have a short text around it which gives the reader some context as to what's happening. These three elements are crucial when you're sending breaking news push notification. While you're sending push notifications to your readers for all your latest content, you can also send them a notification to subscribe to your newsletter. Now, what you're doing with this is you're opening up a new channel of communication with your readers directly, which can be more in depth and you can also monetize that better. Push notifications can be used to give people a hint of your newsletter, what they can expect from there. And you can also create a separate landing page, which people can go to and enroll for your newsletter. Push notifications can also be used to get your readers to subscribe to your newsletter. Now, newsletter is a completely different medium, a channel with which you can reach out to your audience as well. So using push notifications, just like the way you send your recent content for them to read, you can also craft a brilliant message urging them to subscribe to your newsletter. You can link this to a landing page which can collect email IDs for you. A newsletter can also be later used to monetize it. You can also use push notifications to send recommended content to your subscribers. Now I've seen publishers sending recently published content to their subscribers. It's become a workflow of sorts. Publish a new article and send it as a notification so that every subscriber get it. One way of enhancing it is by sending recommended content. Now you'll have to put in some effort to segment your audience. So if you're a news publisher that has multiple sections, say sports, news, business, and say even entertainment for that matter, it's a good idea to split your subscribers into the category that they are most commonly reading. And that way you can recommend content to them on a timely basis. You need not send them the latest article. You can send an evergreen article in the niche that they would like to read about and bring them back to your website. So instead of sending an article you've just published, you can send an older article as well. For example, if you want to cater to an audience that's in sports, instead of simply sending the live match updates, you can also send out an opinion piece that you've written earlier on why a particular team would win while the match is running. So that might just help get you those extra clicks and audience onto your website. As a publisher, you have two types of audiences. One that is actively consuming your content and the other one that's dormant. Now, the active ones are good, but you wouldn't want your dormant size to keep on increasing. So a great way would be to have push notifications that can re-engage them. Here, what you can do is have interesting content that you've covered in recent times with a very catchy title or a question of sorts, something that intrigues them to go ahead and click this link. You should also attach an image that represents the article or is something that's catchy. This will ensure that your notification gets good visibility on the reader's smartphone and it increases the chances of you getting a click. Also, this exercise will help you reduce the amount of dormant users you have, converting them into active users. Now, if you want to drive subscribers onto your web page, there's nothing that works as good as FOMO. Find out more. This is what you're missing out on. Now, these are very, very catchy titles, which can be used as long as the content that you're linking back to has all the valid details and has an answer to the question you're asking in the notification. So who's going to win this match? A predictive analysis. This is going to get a sports reader intrigued on what an expert analysis is like and if it matches with what they've been thinking about. So these notifications should help you get audiences onto your blog. If you're covering an event of sorts, which you can have timely updates onto your articles or even on your blog, a great way of engaging your subscribers would be keeping them in the loop for every single update. Taking the sports example, if there's a match that's going on, for every wicket that the bowler takes, you can send a push notification informing your reader about it. The same thing can also be done in, say, the medical field. For example, if there is a vaccine that's coming out and every possible data parameter you're tracking, you can send it to the reader and you're definitely going to get a click to them. 
readers that are following a particular topic would really appreciate you reaching out to them via notifications for each and every single update that happens on the timeline. Now, these sort of updates work brilliantly for breaking news, also for sports. Since a reader is constantly looking out for the latest information on the event that's happening. Another great practice would be to instill some kind of familiarity with your reader. So you can do this by including name of the author into the notification itself, which will give the reader some confidence in clicking the article. Instead of having an article title like best five smartphones to pick in the notification, you can have tech gurus top five smartphones. Now, because you're having some familiarity here, like a tech guru has selected these five smartphones, a reader is going to be curious and would want to click on this notification and read your article. Push notifications have evolved to the point that you can have multiple CTAs in a single push notification. This can be a great way of gathering feedback from your readers. If in case you're covering a certain kind of breaking news and you would want to gauge if your readers are happy with your coverage, you can have two CTAs in the push notification itself. That way, you'll be able to tweak your notification strategy or your content publishing strategy based on the replies you're getting from your loyal readers. Notification services like Izuto do offer you the option of multiple CTAs in a single push notification. Push notifications can be used to recover tab abandonment. So this is the scenario. A reader is reading your article, opens up a new tab to check an email or something and completely forgets about the article. So you have lost a reader. But using push notifications, especially on a desktop, you can recover this reader back onto the tab. And it's a great way of keeping people onto your website. Now, finally, I'll leave you with one more bonus example of a push notification is that you can use push notifications to drive registrations. As a publisher, if you're organizing a meetup or if you have a particular online event that you're organizing, push notifications can also be used to get these registrations on. If you have, say, 20,000 subscribers, you can target each one of them using a push notification and a register now link. Since it's convenient, we also see a huge amount of uptick here and a lot of people are going to usually go ahead and register for it. So these were some of the most popular examples I've seen that work for publishers. I hope it helps you too.